everyone in the bar are you ready to witness history i'm about to mix this bottle of stuff with this drink i found and drink it all watch 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 Morning, Matt. Shh. Oh, by the way, do you know what Joe's up to? <laughs> no, but I have a pretty good guess. Hey, hey, Joe. So, I'm pretty sure it's your turn to order breakfast. So, wanna do that? Like, now? Gerald, don't interrupt my workouts. I'm hungry. So yeah, that'll be two breakfast pizzas. What? Yeah, with fries. Huh? Hold on a sec. Will you guys turn that crap off? Alright, so... Come on, man. Let me in. Man, come on. Let's put it out of here. So, what the hell are you doing in my house? You wouldn't believe it, man. I was in the bar. Oh, what God! The? No! Ah! Okay, what the hell is going on? Oh, God! What do we do? Avoid the windows, clearly. Well, at the risk of sounding obvious, we can't go outside. Unless you want to end up like that guy. Actually, we might have better odds if we leave. What? Are you freaking crazy? Did you see that? Matt might be right. We're not exactly in a bunker. Yeah, but I'm not sure leaving is an option either. We need weapons. I have weapons. Holy crap. dibs on the AK. Seriously, why do you have all this? Joe, when you've watched as many episodes of Zombie Hunters as I have, you learn to take precautions. You're messed up, says the guy not holding a gun. Is that the door? Sounds like the zombies found a way in. I'll check it out. I'll be back in two shakes. Or you'll be dead in two shakes. Relax. How bad could it be? It's pretty bad. You don't say. You guys hear me? This is Russ, your neighbor. Russ? Uh, who is this exactly? Take a look through your window. Listen, I'm not sure what the heck is going on, but I think we can help each other. I have, uh, plenty of food. And I can see you guys have guns. Which is weird. Look good. If you make it over here, I think we have a better chance at survival. Give us a moment here. Matt, we've got to take this chance. We literally have no food. I agree. This baby should take care of our zombie infestation. I'll drop it off and teleport back. Why do you have a grenade in your pocket? Joe? Don't question a good thing. Alright guys, party time. This is disgusting. Get out of my house! Let's just get this over with. Oh my god, oh my god! Do you hear music? Oh, you zombies! 
that you got? Coming in my city. Oh God. Come on. Now's our chance. Well, here we all are. This is my wife, Jennifer. Who's hungry? What the? Sound of gunfire? Looks like we're saved, boys. Uh, Alright, fellas. We should be safe tonight. Sounds uh, pretty quiet out there. Get some rest, all right? Hey, Matt. What? How big do you think this thing is? I mean, do you think it's just this city? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I mean, they'll send someone else, right? You think? Probably. Yeah, I hope so. What? Matt! Wake up! Zombie senses. You got the wake up call? Yeah, where did they all come from? Who knows? Shh! Listen! Well, that was cool. Where are you going? It's time to hunt some zombies. Swag. Freaking zombies! Kevin, and I'm the Doc. Welcome to my laboratory. Your what? The man's laboratory. I know what I mean, Kevin. Can somebody tell me how I got here? Beats me. I just performed the operation. The operation? Yep, your sex change is complete. What? But there was no operation. Kevin, do you have to ruin everything fun? No. Anyway, I really don't know. You would have to ask the general. The general? Welcome, me boy, to the resistance. Ah, yeah. So this base is entirely underground. That's right. We're safe for now. As long as our search teams keep finding food. This is crazy. I, I can't believe you found us in this city. And thank goodness. You're really quite lucky, you know. When our team found you, one of your friends had already been bitten. What? What happened? Why don't you ask him yourself? Both your buddies are on guard duty now. Guarding what? Only the only fragile barrier between us and a world of the damned, feasting on the flesh and souls of the poor, hopeless wanderers left to rot on the cold exterior of this godforsaken planet. Yeah, can I see my friends now?
I'm telling you, man. You snore in your sleep. Not possible. I have trained my body to remain silent in every function. Every function, Joe. Hey, guys. Well, look who's finally awake. Good to see you too, man. And Joe, nice to see you as well. That will never be funny. So how have you been, guys? And how crazy is this place? Besides the fact that we're living underground and Joe's arm is a giant can opener, I'd say we're just swell. Incoming search team. Are there zombies nearby? Well, not in the immediate vicinity, but- Whatever. Sop losers. I see the baby is awake. Here we go again. Ah, watch it, Tin Man. If it was up to me, we would have never have risked our butts to save your butts. Hey, come on, man. Ow, my freaking face! Ow. I don't know what I'm worried about. If zombies invade, you'll definitely be the first to go. <laughs> he is such a douchebag. Eh, he just thinks he's hot stuff because he's dating the second in command. Who's she? Oh, you haven't met Jenny? Well, you'll see her at the meeting tonight. The meeting tonight? It's been another good week, gentlemen. No deaths, and we're doing well on supplies. Special thanks to our scout team for that. You know it, babe. Barf. She's cute. So here's what we know. When infected, the zombie virus begins by interrupting the neurotransmitters. This explains the unique clumsy zombie gait. Once the virus is firmly established, it destroys much of the brain, leaving the host functioning exclusively on the medulla oblongata. Basically, the virus turns a person into a brainless, drunk eating machine. Haha! <laughs> Somebody must have infected me with the virus. We will continue our research and keep you all informed. That is all. Good night, gentlemen. I think I'm gonna talk to her. That's a terrible idea. You were a terrible idea. What? Nothing. Doctor's Log 29. I am about to conduct an experiment testing the properties of the virus. After analyzing the molecular structure of it, I have created a vaccine that I believe may reverse the effects. Hey, that was a nice presentation. I have a boyfriend. I know. I... <laughs> oh, sorry, you have no idea how many guys hit on you when you're the only girl stuck underground with them. I bet. <laughs> so, do you think you're close to finding a cure? I wish. There's so much we don't understand about the virus. Well, like what? Well, the virus contains an enormous amount of genetic data, and only a fraction of it is being used. It's like the rest simply hasn't been unlocked for some reason. That's all we know. Anyway, the doc is going to perform another experiment tonight and needs my help. See you tomorrow. Oh, dear. Run. You need to follow me now. What? Why? It's the experiment. There's been some kind of mutation. Well, that's about as cliche as it gets. Come on! open the main door. Gerald, you come with me. You two stay there and draw zombies away from us. So much for no deaths this week. Whatever. Just stay alive for a solid ten minutes and I'll be happy. Figures. <gasps> Keith! Jenny! Let's go! Let's go, 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 let's go,
guys are okay. Suppose you could, uh, let me in there? Russ? <laughs> Good to see you, Russ. And you, neighbor. I'm sure you remember our uh, little friend here. Oh, hey, Russ. And hi to you, Master Chief. So, what do we do now? Well, this building is no longer safe. Disinfecting and cleaning everything would take far too long. Any ideas? Well, uh, we're headed east. I suppose we could, uh, keep heading east. Sounds great. Better than nothing. Well, there are worse plans. Let's pack and leave in the morning. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. Shotgun. Say hello to our aptly named mobile base. The Death Wagon. There's enough food and supplies in this puppy to sustain us for over a year. Sure, but can it withstand a zombie attack? So, is that a yes? Or a what? What I don't understand is why we have to keep moving. How are we so sure things are any better anywhere else in the world? Because of me. Grab some weapons to get in the vehicle. I have some things to explain. The first thing you should know is that this virus isn't an isolated incident. At the same time it appeared in your city, it was infecting heavily populated areas all around the world. Wait a minute, you're saying this virus outbreak is a terrorist attack? That's right. The attack was codenamed the Eden Project. It was coordinated by a small but powerful group of eco-warriors, billionaires, religious extremists, and terrorists dedicated to preserving what they see as the true way. They call themselves Smite, the sect of maintaining intellect and truth on Earth. Basically, their plan was to destroy life as we know it, and recreate it from the ground up with a controlled population brainwashed with their views. You see, there is an uninhabited haven on an island accessible only by helicopter 200 miles off the coast of Legoland, which was left untouched by the virus. That is where Smite is building their Eden from a few selected survivors. Well, that sucks, but how do you know about this? I'm not proud of it. I was a military consultant, paid and promised a place in Eden for helping plant the virus in strategic locations. At first we didn't know quite what we were agreeing to, but once we were in, there was no backing out. When we realized the scope of Smite's plan, we tried to sabotage it. We failed and barely escaped with our lives. And it was too late. The virus spread more rapidly than we had anticipated and we were caught in the middle of it. I eventually regrouped with some other military units, but they were also overtaken. I came back alone in this military exosuit to try and clear the area, and that's when our paths collided. After we were separated during the attack, Russ and I used a military database to find the location of the nearest military bunker, and it took us to you. And here we are. Holy sh! that's a crazy story. Yeah, and it sounds like we're screwed. Maybe so. The only thing that keeps me from giving up is my determination to stop Smite. Like I said, they're small. If we can take out their kingpins, Smite will fall apart and we can rebuild Eden as a peaceful, democratic society instead of the religious dictatorship Smite has planned. But how would we ever get to Eden? It's 200 miles across the ocean. I know a place where we may be able to access a helicopter. It's one of Smite's secret bases, but I was there before the virus broke out. If we secure a helicopter, we can reach the island. 
Now you know the truth. Can I count on each of you to help me stop Smite once and for all? I guess. Yes, so. Let's go hunt some zombies. And Smite. Uh, boys? It appears we have reached some kind of active man-made shelter. Damn it, Kevin, we were having a moment. Should we check it out? And risk getting eaten in the woods? I think I'll stay in the death wagon, thanks. Gerald and Joe, come with me. If there's a survivor in there, we could use their help. Uh, I didn't volunteer to go out. And I didn't ask for volunteers, did I? Screw this apocalypse. Bummer. We could have used another member. More of a bummer for him than us, I'd say. Cause he's dead. Shut up and help me search the room. Uh, guys. What? I think there's something, uh, going on out there. Something going on. Thanks, Russ. That's really specific. I'm just saying. We should turn on the lights for a second or something. Just to make sure the guys are okay. I can turn on the lights. Glad you're making yourself useful for once, Kevin. Why are they honking? Oh, jeez! That's why. That's not good. We're surrounded. Grab a turret, man. Now that I can do. need to make a break for it. All this noise is just going to attract more zombies. Oh god. Count of three? Way to make yourself useful for once, Kevin. Oh, God! Oh, God. Yeah. Ugh. Stop taking my limbs! Get us out of here. It really is such a shame what happened to Joe. I agree. He was so young. I just... I can't believe those little green legs of his will never walk another step. It's a damn shame is what it is. Well, this military base isn't going to search itself. Joe! Don't zombies! Uh, what? Uh, what's up? Well, you've been unconscious for about a week now, so quite a bit. Yeah, man. After the zombies tore you in half, Kevin got right to work on fixing you. Torn in half? Oh my god, I got my legs back? Well, not quite. Yeah, that's pretty freaking sweet. What happens now? What happens now? We get a ride out of here. We've reached the base. Assuming the password hasn't been changed, I should be able to access the building mainframe and open the gate. By the way, you should know this base was the site of a heavy experimentation with the virus that may or may not affect our retrieval. Slade! Slade!
was definitely not on the list of things I expected to happen. We need Slade to get out of here alive. He's like a zombie slaying machine. I calculate our odds of survival are higher if we stick together. Shut up, Kevin. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Let's split up. I told going with Matt. Nice. Whatever. Gerald, you come with me. If things go south, return to the spot ASAP and move fast. Who knows how much time Slade has. Well, the sensor on this door seems to be broken. Guess we'd better head back. Oh, what the hell? I'm pretty sure it was like that before I kicked the door open. Yeah, that's what worries me. So, you're single now. Oh my god, you did not just ask that. Yeah, I'm just not gonna say anything else now. Uh, whatever. Keith was a jerk. Uh, I don't really know why I dated him. Yeah, he was actually pretty mean. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? What? But I, I didn't... What did I... I think I see where Slade is. Are you a fast runner? I don't like where this is going. So, Kevin, what, uh, did you do before the zombie apocalypse? I have many programs, but I've served as a medical robot for the last 2,703 days. Oh, any cool abilities? Can you fly? I cannot fly. I only fly in my dreams. Sweet zombie Jesus! I am Do you sorry. hear something? I said I'm sorry. I've said it so many times. Neighbor! <coughs> <laughs> and who are you? I'm Kevin. He's Kevin. And I'm Russ. We're trying to find our friend. Your friend? Well, he might be in here. Uh, what you got back there? My friends! All my friends are here! <laughs> uh... I tried to help them, but they were all just so angry and hungry. I had to put them away. You understand that, right? Yep! Affirmative. Yep, mm -hmm. totally see your point, man. I'm sorry, friends. Please don't be mad. I don't know what I was thinking. You must be so cramped in there. I feel like we should go. Oh. Ah! Please stop doing that, sir. I hope you weren't going to leave yet. Here, let's see if your friend is with us. <laughs> what is that?
kind of helicopter is this? Next stop. Eden. We've reached Eden. It's huge! I'm going to land in the jungle to stay under Smite's radar. Hang on. There should be a weapons compartment in the back. Well, hot dog! So what do they shoot? Your enemies, hopefully. Oh my god, Kevin, that's not what he meant. The guns shoot extremely concentrated gamma waves. Pretty well fries anything it hits. Nice. Alright, Slade. What's the plan? Well, now we have to make it to Eden. By my calculations, it's an hour's hike in that direction. An hour? Are we almost there? My feet are killing me! Well, you know what's not killing you? Zombies, Gerald. So shut up. Why are you so mean? What? Hey! Holy crap, don't shoot! What the hell? D don't shoot, I'm human! We can see that, ma'am. What's with sneaking up on us, then? I thought you might be aliens. I just escaped Eden, and I thought they might have sent someone to find me. Wait, wait. Escaped? And by aliens, I assume you mean zombies, right? Wait, you really don't know? No, what? Hmm. It might be best if I show you. messed up. They told us this would be paradise. We paid almost all we could to be promised a place in Eden. But a day after we arrived, these things arrived in dozens of ships and forced us to work for them. How many aliens are there? Less than there are humans, but we're unarmed. All right, here's what's going to happen. We're going to set up a secret camp, and over the next few weeks, hey, we'll- you there! They've escaped! Oh, dang. So these are the rebels stirring up trouble in Eden. Pathetic. In our defense, this was not what we were expecting. Yeah, what the hell is this place? And where did you put my arm? You are aboard Zula 7, the Exxon command ship assigned to enslave the remaining population of planet Earth. So you're Smite. You created the virus? Wrong on both accounts, human. Smite is a petty human organization that volunteered to distribute Krozox after we told them we were gods. 
It made weakening the population for enslavement an easy task. Krozox, is that what you call the virus? That is correct, human. However, wait. What is this? A human who has joined the hive mind? How quaint. What? What's going on? Surely you've begun to hear the voices. If not, they'll come soon enough. I don't know what kept you from being fully transformed. Perhaps you were removed from your cocoon too soon. Get out of my head! Ha! <laughs> How amusing. What? What, what was what was that? Take them to the prison hold, and keep a special eye on the one in the metal suit. Hey! Watch the socket! Wait. Robot, what is your purpose? Um, my only purpose is to act as a medical unit. And you do not care what happens to your friends? I am a robot. I have no friends. Only circuits. Good. Put the robot to work in the medical bay. Well, this day just keeps getting better and better. I suppose you want an explanation. You think? Your freaking eyes turn orange. Then you and the alien commander have a staring contest. What is going on? I don't know much more than you. I think it began when I was cocooned by the creature in the military base. But instead of undergoing a complete mutation, I've just been connected in some way to some kind of hive mind. So are you or are you not infected with the zombie virus? Yes, I believe I am. But I'm not dead, and I'm still in control of my actions. I just feel... strange. I just hope it doesn't take control of you. Yeah, especially considering Slade could easily murder all of us. Ugh, I should have stayed in Eden. Also, has anybody noticed how the aliens didn't make Slade change into prison clothes? Believe me, they tried. Hello everyone, it's me, Kevin. Don't eat the food. What do you want, traitor? And we haven't gotten any food yet. Oh, good. I'm here to rescue you. I was just acting in front of the alien commander. While I was in the medical bay, I discovered a storeroom of pathogens and viruses that I presume were kept to be used for biological warfare. I took a little of each one and put it in the alien's food supply. They should all be getting sick, which will give us a chance to escape. Yeah! I knew you wouldn't let us down, Kevin. Great work, Kevin. Oh, all of a sudden, everyone loves Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, if you were a human, I would kiss you right now. Uh, what's wrong with kissing a robot? Wait. Was one of the viruses labeled Crozox? I did not check that. Oh, sh. <laughs> the escape pod. I should have stayed in Eden.
Looks like Kevin's plan's actually working out pretty well for once. It looks like it's working a little too well. We better get out of here. That was weird. Where exactly is this going to take us? I have a few destination points I can set on autopilot. One of them is labeled Crozox. Go there. What? If we want any answers on this virus or how to stop it, that sounds like our best bet. In any case, there's not much we can do back on Earth. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Hold on to a wall or something. What? Slade, you okay? You look like you're having a nightmare, man. I'm fine. What happened? Where are we? We crashed into our destination. Apparently, escape pods don't have great landing gear. How much do you remember? As soon as we came close to the planet, your eyes went all orange again, and you started freaking out. So, we're on planet Crozox. Correct. It appears to be a tiny desert planet. We haven't seen any signs of life, much less the Exen species that captured us. Well, once again it seems we're screwed. How can we possibly figure out where to go from here? I know where to go. Neighbor, uh, you kind of remind me of my wife. Uh, thanks. Uh, Slade, you know we don't have any weapons, right? Anything can be a weapon if you know how to use it.
I'm fine. Get in and grab a weapon. Hmm. Can you read any of this? There might be clues to stopping the virus. Well, I don't know about you, Russ, but my college didn't offer any language courses in exit. We're close. To what? The virus? It's not a virus. It's a fungus. A giant fungus that infects other species through spores. Spores that the Exit have been distributing. How can you possibly know that? The hive mind is here, beneath us. The line between the hive mind and my own mind is beginning to blur. I can feel it trying to control me. Uh, 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 we don't have much time. We have to destroy the brain. Will that shut down the zombies and mutations? N no, but it will destroy any connection to the hive mind. From what I understand, the fungus inhabits dead bodies and reanimates them, growing inside them until they mutate into a kind of monster like we saw at the military base. So basically, Earth is screwed. Except for Eden. I should have stayed on Eden. But killing the hive brain might disrupt the aliens. If they have some kind of evolutionary symbiotic relationship with the fungus, killing the hive mind might cause some kind of reset. I don't know what will happen, but I know we have nothing to lose and no time to waste. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Whatever happens, I'm glad we made it this far. Jenny, I... I... If we get through this, I'll consider it. My friends, let's end this. coast appears to be clear. You know, this isn't as bad as what I was expecting. <laughs> Gerald, pull yourself together. If we don't succeed, Matt's death will have been in vain. You mean, that wasn't the brain? Not 
not yet. yet. We have to hurry. Russ, Joe, stay behind. If anything starts coming down that hallway, you have to stop it. Yes, sir. You're, uh, not gonna complain? Yeah, that kind of threw me off for a second. Now is not the time. Go! Oh, no. It's a trap! No, it's a trick. It knows we're close. Oh, God. Look, man, whatever happens, I'm glad I met you guys when this all started. Me too, man. We've had a good run. Yeah, we have. Well, if I'm going down, I'm going down fighting! Did you miss me? Shit, yeah, we did. That is the brain. Okay, how do we destroy it? How about the old fashioned way? No, you don't. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god! I, I can't fight it much longer. Run! Slade. Gerald, we have to go. The General? How did you get here? It's a long story for another time. We're Slade. It's a long story for another time. We need to go now. <laughs> Ending this. Is it, uh, is it over? You might say that, but for us, it's only just the beginning. What do you mean that it's only just beginning? Didn't we win? Oh, sure, we won. But at what cost? Earth is ruined, and the human population is decimated. I mean, but what can we do? The damage is done. That's right, Russ. The damage is done. But imagine if it could be undone. I don't follow. Kevin, roll the tape of Project X. Wait, he's a projector too? This is President Owens reporting the official video documentation of the Confidential Project X. The purpose of this project and this documentation is to serve as a last resort, and only as a last resort, in the event of global catastrophe. That's the president! Shh. Experiment log 137. Various attempts at sending inanimate objects hours into the past have been successful. However, sending objects further into the past seems to displace them farther from their starting point. Hold on! You're talking about frickin' time travel? 
fourth dimensional navigation, if you will. Why was I never told about this? Frankly, dear, it's above your pay grade. Until now, paid positions don't really exist anymore. So, what do you want us to do? It's not about what I want, boy. It's about what the president wants. Now get in the ship. Gerald, are you okay? Uh, I guess this apocalypse is harder on me than I thought. Hey, where is everyone? Waiting for you. We're being debriefed. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> hey, hey everybody. Please take a seat. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the current situation. With the exception of Eden, our underground facility is the last standing human community in the nation. We are housing 20 government families and are low on weapons and food. Navigating the surface has become nearly impossible as it is overrun with mutations. Overbeck? Thank you, Mrs. President. While the initial stages of the zombie transformation seem to simply kill the host and overtake the brain, we have discovered that the host is actually inhabited by a highly developed fungus that eventually reaches a period of rapid growth, leading to the development of various fruiting bodies, fungi that can reproduce sexually through gametes. <laughs> sexually. These fruiting bodies take many forms, but all seems to be capable of enveloping human hosts in cocoons that kill and inhabit them. While violence against the alien race known as Exxon has been observed, it has usually been immediately following a transformation. After an hour or so, the fruiting bodies exhibit no violence towards Exxon at all. I imagine this has something to do with a telepathic communication in the hive mind the general has informed us about. Furthermore, the destruction of this hive mind seems to have left the Exxon in a state of primal animal behavior, suggesting that any intelligence the aliens had was directly connected to that hive mind. In conclusion, the being which has recently been identified as Crozox appears to be an ancient, highly evolved fungus that evolved alongside the Exxon and developed a symbiotic relationship with them. This fungus now exists independently in abundance on the surface with no direction from the hive mind. It is spreading, and stopping the fungus seems impossible. <whistles> Mrs. President? Thank you, Overbeck. General, have you informed your crew of their mission? I started, but now I'll finish. As the President said, resources are low. The few soldiers left in this facility are required to stay to defend the families in case of emergency. Those who are willing will use the machine to travel one year into the past, where Kevin will use the data he has acquired to brief the President and myself on the situation. We will then mobilize to stop Smite, the Exxon, and Crozox before they can make a move. So, who's willing? I'm in. Uh, oh, okay. Uh... Russ? Oh, sorry, sir. I'm gonna have to sit this one out. When all this craziness happened, I left my wife somewhere I thought she'd be safe. I'd like to go look for her if that's alright. Of course. We'll provide you with an armored vehicle. Good luck, sir. And to the rest of you, come with me. Remember, if you fail, humanity is lost. No pressure, huh? Godspeed, everyone. Overbeck, prepare to send them one year to the past. You guys should feel lucky. You're making history as the first ever humans to travel through time. Yay! Overbeck, send them back, now!
sent them too far. God save us all. Now, Troy, remember your mantras. The astral realm is very mysterious, so it is important that you maintain your worldly tether. Of course, Master. I feel ready. I, I can do this. Very well. Let's begin. Close your eyes and begin meditation. That's... strange. Help. 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 Troy! 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 Troy, what happened? Um, what? Something's not right. Kevin? Where and when are we? My readings place us somewhere in the northern isles of Briconia. In the year 1276. What? I... that doesn't seem to be good. Hey! Smart McGee! You come down here to me, I'm a They seem to be speaking Old Nord. Perhaps I can communicate with them. Well, I'd say you communicated pretty effectively just now. I think I'm breaking through to them. I think there's been a misunderstanding. This is absurd. Kevin, could you get us out of here? I might have to kill some people, but yes. Just hold on a second. Let's see what their chief says. This Arara, frame of the keeper, our brute smart Magi, Tiro, Varel, Lansby and Vor. This skull, Brenna Tilda. What did he say? That we used black magic to invade their village and attack them. Also, that we will burn until dead. Oh, yeah. I guess we might have to kill them. Levendelik! Levendelik! What? What does that mean? It means living dead. You've got to be kidding me. yourselves oh, oh, oh my god what are you looking at me for
Engava Fragudna! Engava Fragudna! So, I'm assuming he changed his mind? He says we're a gift from the gods. They're throwing us a feast. Now that's more like it! I could use some mead. Make yourselves comfortable. Your protection is much appreciated. Drink up. Uh, thanks. Wait, you speak English? Uh, a few have learned to speak it. You pillage enough English villages and you pick up a few things, you know? <laughs> Jenny, what do we do? Shouldn't we get out of here? How? To where? Seems like our options are pretty limited right now. <clears throat> She's right, Gerald. Let's focus on one zombie apocalypse at a time. But for now, drink. It's been almost six months since we unintentionally landed in a medieval Nork village. All in all, it hasn't been too bad. The villagers have been quite friendly to us, though they are absolutely vicious to their enemies. With Kevin's translating help, we've been learning their language and customs. We've also gotten pretty good at fighting. There's really only one major downside to the medieval village life. According to the villagers, a plague of undead warriors has been spreading across the land for years. Nobody knows where they came from exactly, and though there are no shortage of rumors, one thing is certain. They don't- Gerald! Ah! Gerald! J damn it, lad! That's not a toy! Uh, 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 uh sorry, General. Uh, what, what's up? We're being called to a meeting with the chief. I've already gathered the others. What's going on? I'm not entirely sure, but it concerns all of us. Come with me. Well, why are you all so quiet? Lighten up. Have some mead. The six of you claim to be from a time yet to come. You say that you made the journey to prevent the end of times, but that you went too far. I wasn't sure what to make of your arrival for a long time. But last night, I received a message from the gods. Oh, come on. I found myself in the halls of Valhalla, and it was beautiful. At first I thought I was alone, and then I saw them. The gods. You lead a proud village, Viking, and your prayers have been heard. A scourge of death is clouding this world, one beyond our power to control. But it can be stopped. Dear Odin, I kneel before you, by the branches of Yidrasil. Tell me how I can ensure the safety of my village. 
We have a task for you, mortal, and it extends beyond the safety of your village. You recently received some visitors, have you not? Yes, indeed, dear Freya. They claim to be from a, a different time. These visitors are fated to be the saviors of this world, Viking. Their arrival to this time is no accident. I, I don't understand. What can they possibly do to stop the plague of evil on this land? They shall travel to the dark heart from whence this evil came, and destroy the wretched source. And you shall lead them, mortal. Forgive my ignorance, Great Thor, but how can I lead them if I don't know the way? Trust your instincts, Viking, and you will find the way, and we will be with you. You have my blessing. And my ass. And what if we fail? Look into the well, Viking, and you will see a vision of a future in which you fail. By the fangs of Fenrir. Oh, dear gods. It can't be. No! No, no, no! No! You have until sunrise to gather your belongings. Our journey begins at dawn. No! What? I'm sick! of being responsible for saving the world. I am, I'm sick of the fighting, and I'm, I'm sick of being at death's door all the time. <sighs> Things aren't so bad here. We can survive in the village. Uh, we, can, we can build a big wall or, or something. Build the wall, build the wall. You think that this is negotiable? Do you think you can oppose the will of the gods? What? Gods! You had a dream! I will not stand for this blasphemy! You will come with us in the morning, or you will burn at the stake. Uh, you, you must try to forgive Gerald, Chief. He's only a boy, yet he has seen so much death. He lost a good friend to a similar plague from our time. I understand. The boy fears death. This is not the Viking way, but... But then he is not a Viking. He may not be a Viking, but the lad has potential. He has survived this far, after all. You're right. I must exercise my patience. General, I must request something of you. Protect the village in my absence. Keep the Metal Man with you as well. This village will need guardians in our absence. If that is what you command, I will obey. If I may ask, Chief, what did you see in the well? General, you know as well as I that there is no death more noble than death in battle. <laughs> The world that I saw in that well, the nobility of that world was drowned by seas of blood. There was no glory or pride, only death and the devouring of innocence. I wish I hadn't looked. Mm. A noble death, that I should be so lucky. What's the rush, babe? I told you not to call me that. And have you forgotten? We're leaving the village today. Oh, right. To save the world. Well, come on, come on. We haven't got all day. Hmm. Gerald, hurry up! Not exactly a first-class travel experience. Hey! 
Why, you? Looking to lose your other arm, friend? What? That's my brother, Gunnar. He's a little rough around the edges. You seem a little tense yourself. I was born tense. What's it to ya? Take a seat, Brur. I've got something to ease your mind. Consider it a peace offering from your brother, Jürgen. What's that? <sighs> Cedarweed. What's your name, then? Joe. Gerald, where are you? Here he is. I found him running towards the woods. Gerald? Oh, sorry if I don't want to go into the dark heart from whence this evil came. Jenny? Get in the carriage. <laughs> Stilla. Hmm? It's quiet. Too quiet. Ambush! Shields up! <gasps> well, what do we do? There's too many of them. Perhaps we can turn around and move run in the other direction. No, this is the only way through the gorge. We must fight. Vikings of the North, you are hereby under arrest by order of the Queen herself. Under arrest? What in Loki's name for? For decades of incessant plundering and thieving of royal cargo. Uh, we we do that. Deny that. True. Do we at least get a fair trial? <laughs> <laughs> There it is, the kingdom of Galadon, run by the absolutely ruthless Slayer Queen. Slayer Queen? What does she slay? Some say she has slain dragons, but some say she slayed her own father and brother to ensure her place at the throne. I like her already. Enough chit-chat back there. You're wasting your breath anyway. The Queen has decreed that you lot will be subject to the pit. Get to the point, Fancy Pants. What is this pit? I suppose you could call it a combat arena of sorts. You'll see what I mean. And if we win? <laughs> you won't. Some quest this turned out to be. Ah, oh, some company at last! Um, uh, oh! There you are. Oh, nice strong frame you got there. I'm sure you'll be a great fighting companion. Um, hmm, are you, are you blind? I prefer the term visually challenged. <laughs> but don't worry, I can hold my own in a fight. Yeah! How many of you are there? They usually send eight contestants out at a time. There are six of us. Ooh, there's a lovely voice. Hi, I'm Baran. Could you sing me a song before we all die? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes everyone so sure we're gonna die? What's on the other side of the wall? The plague.
good thing you've got your little brood to cover your back. now we live to die another day I imagine Shit. that was amazing guys I mean I didn't see any of it but did you hear that crowd they loved us those undead didn't stand a chance <laughs> it's good to be alive hey Baron yeah shut up you! Okay, I, I feel ridiculous asking this, but are you Slade? Come on, Joe. Yes, I am. What? My full name is Sir Drake Slade, noble from the kingdom of Blocktear. At least, I was until I was made a prisoner of war by the Slayer Queen. So wait, 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 wait. So your name is Slade? Correct. And you're an incredible fighter? Indeed. And you have weird scars on your face. Inherited birthmark, I'm afraid. The men in my bloodline seem to be cursed with it. I, well, I think we might have met someone related to you. <clears throat> the queen will see you now. So, you're telling me that you were sent by the gods on a quest to find the source of the evil undead and end the plague. Is that right? That's right. What a ridiculous story. You're either insane or you have a death wish. Tell me, do you know what awaits you further south? Um, no. Chief? <clears throat> if you continue your present route, you will stumble headlong into the frightened forest. The frightened forest? What, are the trees scared? I've heard of that place. They say that the trees grow poorly there, always on the verge of death, and that no man who has entered the forest has come out alive. No man, perhaps, but a woman did once. Hold your tongue or lose it, prisoner. I suppose it would be distasteful for me to have you lot executed after surviving around in the pit. How about a deal? I spare your lives, and you continue your little quest under jurisdiction of the Galadornian forces. I'm guessing we don't have much of a choice. Wait, you're going to voluntarily send troops into a deadly forest for a quest you don't believe in? Don't presume to know my intentions, dear. I may not believe in your fairy tale quest, but that does not mean I don't have interests that reside in the forest. Pack their gear and throw them into the royal carriage for transport. We leave first thing in the morning. You mentioned something about a woman entering the frightened forest that got the queen riled up. What was that about? Oh, everyone knows about that. 
A few years ago, the entire kingdom was starving, even the royalty. Story goes that the king led a hunting party into the frightened forest and brought both of his children. A week goes by and surprise, surprise, the queen returns without a scratch on her, but no hunting party and no king and no prince. What happened? That's where the tale gets very strange. You see, the queen claimed not to remember a thing. The last thing she remembered was seeing a pale blue light in the forest, and then suddenly she was walking out of the forest half-starved a week later. A strange story, and suspicious nonetheless. Ooh, I just got chills. We're entering the forest. Hello, traveling knights! Say, those are some nice weapons you got there. Imperial iron is pretty good. But if you're entering the frightened forest, you'll need more than just pretty good. Luckily for you, I have a special sale on specially crafted magic weapons. Wow. Magic weapons? Like what? Dothwin, don't listen to him. Magical weapon salesmen can't be trusted. Oh, sure they can. And so can my weapons. Especially this beauty right here. Now, I call this baby Beatrice. She was enchanted by a wizard from the north. Wow. What does she do? Uh, she, she becomes, uh, she becomes a lightning blade. Yes, a lightning blade. But only when you're in danger and only when you're calm and focused. And you look like a man who can keep his cool in danger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. I I'll, I'll take it. That'll be 50 gold pieces. This is not good. Sorry you got roped into this, Drake. This is not the quest we intended it to be. Quests rarely go the way they're intended, my lady. And don't pity me. It is better to die in battle than to die for the entertainment of vile crowds. Shut up, prisoner. You need us, don't be a fool. That blade. Feral and dead.
gather some weapons and supplies. We continue on foot. Are you crazy? You want to continue after that? This is bullshit. This is just bullshit. Pull yourself together. We're still alive, aren't we? And our quest continues. Yeah, continues into certain death. We've barely been in this forest for 10 minutes and a dozen knights are dead. Is it death, then, that you are afraid of? Or perhaps suffering? Do you fear these more than failure? Yes, of course. And why is that? Tell me, for what purpose were you born, Gerald? For pleasure? To live in comfort? I... I... I don't know. But I know I don't want to die. Ah, uh, yes. You don't want to die. Because what could be more dreadful than death? But what is death? Tis no other than a function of nature, my boy. And to fear a natural function is to be a child. Now some must die so that others may live. It is an eternal law. It is THE eternal law. We cannot escape it, but we can challenge it. So pick up your sword, strap on your armor, and stand up straight. That which is unendurable will carry us off, but that which lasts can be endured. So when you do cross your swords with death, do not falter, but hold your ground. Look death in the face and say, I am not afraid of you. Did, uh, one of you say something? Uh, we didn't say anything. Stay close together. It's easy to get separated in this quagmire. What the hell is a squagmire? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, oh, this is an evil place. We'll have to watch each other's backs. Hey, Jenny, look! Gerald, stay close! For hell with her. I can't see Dritt in this fog. Over here. actually getting pretty good. Oh really? My little girl is becoming quite the warrior princess then.
What in the devil is going on? There is an armored convoy of undead soldiers approaching the village. Armored? Convoy? Undead? Soldiers? Burgage! Man the gates! Did you hear that? You'll have to be more specific, your highness. Hey! Where the hell is everybody? Raina, over here. Father? Robert? Hey, stay close! Jesus Christ, people! This stuff is disgusting. I think the air is getting clearer. Look, we're at the edge. Hello. 
Hello, my friend. Uh, uh, how, how? Gerald, that is not Matt. Friend. So this is how we go. Smothered in green crap. Guide with your hand the honors of our fellowship. Are you so praying? Feast of That's just great. You think you can pray us out of here? Have some respect, son. Oh yeah? For who? The same gods that sent us on this stupid quest? Have you lost all your dignity, boy? We're about to die. You can take your dignity and shove it right up your Viking. Now, ladies, are we done bickering? Ladies, really? You're gonna go there? All praise to Odin, God of the gods. something. I, I can't believe it worked. Get down! No. 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 No! I'm just so freaking hungry. You know, those wolves pack a lot of meat. Frick that! I'm not messing with any flippin' demon wolves! I... I can barely lift a sword right now. I'm tired, Jenny. So tired. Hey. It's okay. I'm also tired and scared. But we have to believe that we can make it through this. <sighs> You're right. It just... I think seeing Matt again, it, it did something to me. I mean, he was my friend for, well, we went to high school together. And now, now his body is, is I mean, he's, oh, God, you know what kind of twisted world this is. All of this evil, just horror, you know? I feel, I feel small. I mean, really, Jenny, how does, Jenny? Jenny? Uh, Jenny? It's so beautiful. Jenny, what are you doing? <laughs> Jenny? Jenny? Oh, God. Come on! Come on! Come on! Welcome home, child. Once lost, now you are found. Join now your sisters and brethren. Use the Use sword! The sword. Who?
what the... I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Don't touch her. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Anything is beautiful compared to that nightmare forest. Oh, good, you did what make it. Uh, hey, guys. Wh who are you? B Baron? That's my... Oh, that's my dad. Oh, he led us out of the forest. Uh, Oh, a blessing it is to meet you at last, Gerald and Jenny. My name is Corin. Pleased nice to me meet you. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't the lovebirds. Joe, Chief, <laughs> you guys all made it. Not all of us, Minvan. Jurgen and Gunnar were both lost to that damned forest cr creature. The Harfunet still hit, bro. Ah, uh, we wouldn't have made it ourselves if not for the good fortune of meeting a guide. Yeah, dude. Bronze Dad's a wizard. Seriously, what are the odds? <laughs> you might call it fortune, or you might call it causality. 
Or you might call it a good dad looking out for his troublesome boy. <laughs> Come now, we have much to discuss. But we will discuss things properly near a cozy fireplace with tea for the sipping. Got anything stronger? Come, come. My hut awaits. Help yourself to the cookies. I conjured them up myself. They're special cookies, if you know what I mean. What, like magic? Yeah, sure. Well, having a wizard in our party certainly evens the odds a bit. Even if his specialty is cookies. I'm not complaining. A mere party trick, I assure you. Mine is the art of telepathy. Uh, conjuring is more of a hobby. No offense, Corin. Seriously. Uh, but how does that help us exactly? The plague you face is a corruptive force, my girl. It corrupts not only the body, but the mind and spirit as well. I can protect your spirits and perhaps cleanse the corrupted. Cleanse the corrupted? Name my next album? Yes, well, there are some things you should know about the source of this evil plague. Fill me in later. It can all be traced to a powerful sorcerer who lives in the East Mountains. <laughs> hey. Hi. Beautiful sunrises don't get old after a century. I wonder if they ever do. Uh, who are you talking to, Dad? Uh, just thinking out loud, my boy. Ah. Awake! Awake, my friends! The day grows hungry. Good morning, Drake. The goodness of the morning is yet to be determined, I'd say. But tell me, are you afraid? I don't know. I feel uneasy, but uh, something's changed. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. You're wisening up, my friend. So, Corn, what's the plan? Oh, just collect your gear, my friends, and I'll explain along the way. The source of the evil you seek is a sorcerer who dwells in an underground cave. Cliche much? While in a deep trance, I sense the presence of a hidden entrance. Through this entrance, we can attack the sorcerer directly and bring an end to Are we there yet? Traveling on foot sucks. Joe, you literally have bionic feet. Hush now. We're near the gate. I can feel it. Well, that was his- ah! Gerald! Yeah. 
My brain is dead. Fresh passes. Eric. Hold him off. I will attempt to enter his mind. Who, who are you? Uh, just, just someone, someone who wishes, wishes to help. help. Here, Here, grab, grab a, hold a hold of my, my staff. staff. Forces that seek control of your external body. But I am a machine. I do not have a real mind. Do I? <laughs> well, it would certainly appear otherwise, wouldn't you say? you were a slave. I simply entered your mind to remind you that you are not. It is my mind. Wait! Rather than destroy the infection, may I suggest a different course? What are they doing? 
when an opening appears, run for it. What, 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 are you, what are you saying? Don't argue with me, Gerald. I've been bit. This is the end of the line for me. You don't need to do this, lad. There's no time. Gerald, thanks for being my best friend. Joe, what are you doing? Where's Joe? He... 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 Oh, Joe. I'm so sorry, Gerald. He saved us, Jenny. Wh what's happening? Well, Kevin is being reborn. Hello, my friend. Hello, friends. What the devil are you? Kevin? That's me. Like the new look? I have so many questions. No kidding. Who's Kevin? Where is Joe? much time. Stand back, all of you. It will take him long to recover. We must move him somewhere safe, and then carry on with our quest. I do not understand any of this. What is he? 
There will be time for answers later. The sorcerer knows we are here. He is waiting for us. I see. Then let's not keep him waiting. For our fallen friends. For our loved ones. For the future of mankind. trouble. Nice to see you again, Gerald and Jenny. What? You don't recognize me? Ah! You thought you could tear a hole through time and I wouldn't follow? I have abilities beyond your comprehension, human. Gerald, your sword. Oh, I recognize that sword. I'll be damned. For Jürgen and Gunnar, you devil! Ah! <laughs> 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 
Son of a bitch. Will it work? I don't know. But try we must.
Let's go. <clears throat> Shh. We're not alone. 